Hey there, Joel at Earth Tools. We're going to talk a little about ma the maintenance and function of the debris screen. Uh, this is the debris screens it are it is a, a special accessory that we basically adapt here at Earth Tools. They're they're made by an Italian company, uh, and we adapt them to many of the U.S. made engines. Or well, Honda is not U.S. made, but U.S. type engines. <laughs> that are sold in the U.S. market. Uh, and the purpose of this screen is to keep chaff created by a rotary mower from getting sucked into the engine cooling system. Because any small air-cooled engine, of course, sucks in air to cool the cylinder as it's, as it's running. And uh, on all small engines, the air is sucked in right through the rewind starter housing right under here. So you can see the rewind starter right here. So that's where the air gets sucked in, and then it gets blown out on the back side of the engine. So if there's any airborne material that's been cut up by a rotary mower, and this could be a bush hog mower, or a flail mower, or a, uh, a lawn mower, that airborne lightweight material can get sucked in with the cooling air, and it, it has to blow up through some fins in the engine, the cooling fins on the cylinder. And well, some of that material is too large to make it through the cooling fins, so it gets jammed in there, and you build up what looks like a rat's nest in the cylinder fins. After enough of that builds up, the cooling air can't go through there anymore and the engine overheats. Most people know they have a problem with this when A, the head gasket blows because the engine overheats, or B, the engine catches fire because the stuff gets so hot in there that it catches fire. And I've seen a couple cases of this and it's not pretty. Um, so in order to guard against that, we install these debris screens which stops the material before it gets into the engine. Everything builds up right on the screen. And during the operation of the machine, you can just reach down here and brush it off, like taking lint off of a lint screen in a dryer. It's exactly the same thing. Uh, in, in the wetter times of the year, like the spring, when you're cutting a lot of uh, you know, material with a lot of moisture in it, you won't get a whole lot of buildup on here. You'll usually still see the buildup in the fall when you've got more dry, chaffy type of materials that are getting cut. Um, but it's critical to keep an eye on this, especially when you have more lightweight material that's being mowed, dry material and so forth, because if this plugs up, it'll be the same effect as if your cylinder fins plugged up. You'll still overheat the engine. I have seen engines you know, with blown head gaskets as a result of this getting plugged up and people just not paying attention to it at all. At least on a walk-behind tractor with the configuration you have here, this thing is always directly in front of you. You're walking on behind the tractor right here, and any time you look down, and look at the engine, you're looking at that debris screen. So if it's the fall or, you know, that, that drier time of year when that thing is building up more, I mean, on my own farm, when I do brush mowing in the fall, I sometimes have to clean that debris screen every 20 minutes. And I, I do it without even shutting the tractor off or without even stopping. I'll just, I'll just reach down while I'm mowing and brush it off a little bit. As long as, it's, as, long as at least 50% of it is open, it'll get enough air to cool the engine. Now, as far as cleaning it, like I say, you can just brush it off with your hand to get the big stuff off. Uh, when you've had the machine shut down and you want to do a little more, you know, in-depth maintenance, you can take something like a toothbrush and get the rest of it off. If you have an air compressor, of course, you can blow it off. Just kind of blow it off sideways so you don't blow the stuff through it. Although anything that goes through those holes is small enough to go through the cooling fins of the engine, so you really don't have to worry about it. Anyway, you blow it. There are screws holding these on. On the gas engines, we have little Phillips head screws. Usually on the diesels, there's some Allen head screws. Um, a couple times a year, it's probably not a bad idea to make sure those are tight They're so things aren't vibrating off. Uh, if you need extra fasteners, if some have fallen off and gotten lost, you could probably pick them up at a hardware store. They're not specialized, but of course, we do have them here at Earth Tools if you need them. And if you have an engine that doesn't have one of these and you want to put one on, give us a call. They are not adaptable to all engine types, but um, we know which ones they can be fitted to. So, um, thanks for watching.